John, welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger video for y'all, man. As y'all can see, we got Vader right here behind me. We got the city behind me. I got Alex behind the camera. So today we got a banger video for y'all, man. Um, so I've seen a comment, and this is not the first comment. I've also got multiple DMs and stuff like that that's been asking me how, how I got this right here. How I got Vader. You know what I'm saying? And I can't lie, it is a crazy story. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and strap the GoPro to my head. We're gonna hop in the whip right now. We're gonna take y'all for a drive and I'm gonna tell y'all the story of how I got Vader and how, like you see in the title, the dealership tried to scam the kid. So if you haven't already, do your boy a favor and hit that follow button right now. Give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment. It's gonna be a juicy one. If you're in the live chat, say what's up right now. Grab you some snack. Let's get into it, man. Alright you guys, so as y'all can see, we are inside Vader right now, man. I hope this angle is looking spiffy enough for y'all, and y'all feel like y'all are driving Vader. Like I said, we got my boy Alex in the cut, man. You dig? Make sure y'all go follow my brother. Tap in if you need some shoots, man. No cap. You want some pictures that look like they popping off your screen? Get with that guy. You know what I'm saying? Get with that guy. No cap. But right now, man, um, we're just gonna go ahead and get straight into this story time, bro how I got this car and how like the dealership tried to scam me bro they tried to play me all right so basically for those of you who don't know um before I had this vehicle I had a 2016 s550 Mustang it was an mt82 car and I was actually ran off the road by a drunk driver of course hit and run bro kept going um so it was all on my insurance now i had just got that car and i had just opened up that you know that loan brody this is exactly why i hate financing cars but it is what it is you know what i'm saying um insurance went ahead and took care of the car um everything that i owed on the car and i was able to just focus on buying a new car now i had a dilemma i actually had to pass up on like four to five like legitimate contenders that I wanted. I had to pass them up solely because the insurance company and the loan company were taking forever to settle their differences and clear basically my name. So it was just like, I had to wait for that to be done before I could even get into a new loan because it looked like to the banks that I just opened an automotive loan for an American muscle car and now I'm trying to sit here and buy an even newer American muscle car for way more money, you know what I'm saying? So I had to wait for that to get cleared. Um, so I passed up on a lot of cars, man. It's very sad, but it's cool. Everything happens for a reason. Um, it was a Monday, I wanna say that I was really, really devastated. I couldn't get this one car, bro. It was a white 2020 2SS 10-speed. Joint had the sunroof, joint had the, it's a 2SS, so it had the ambient lighting, leather seats, everything. Now, I was hurt that I didn't get this car, but then again, I wasn't hurt that I didn't get this car because the lady did me dirty, but that's a different story. Anyway, so I didn't get that car, you know what I'm saying? I'm hurt, I'm like, damn, this is like the fifth car that I, I, I had and I wanted to get and I couldn't because of the simple fact that I'm still waiting on insurance cool whatever so i finally get a call on uh, i want to say that wednesday hey man you know what i'm saying everything's cleared you're good to go like the shit's off your name now you can go get a new car yes sir ski that's all i needed to hear green light so now my search got even more like you feel me deeper like i really like got to looking for that next car for real now with that being said man i ended up stumbling upon this car on thursday it was a thursday night i was just scrolling on cars.com bro and this motherfucker popped out this joint was about an hour and 20 minutes away from my crib like this joint was like 
a good mission, you know what I'm saying, to get it. But they had it listed for 40 grand, bruh. They had the car listed for 40 grand. You feel me? So it was like, come on now. Oh my God, G80 M3. Sheesh. And I think that joint's a comp spec. All the carbon fiber, carbon roof, carbon spoiler, diffuser, side skirts. Sheesh, with the comp wheels. And the joint looks like it's lower. Damn, that bitch is clean, bro. Damn, sorry, sidetrack. I'm a car guy. Y'all get it. Y'all get it. I don't even have to explain it. Y'all get it. They get it. They, they, get, it. they get it. You gotta get it. I mean, we're y'all get it. Look at it. I mean, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm not even a Euro type of guy, but that right there, that's some spicy sriracha. Anyway, um back to back to the story. So yeah, man, so I found a car and they had it listed for 40 grand. 2021 1 SS Camaro. That's how they had it listed. So I already knew straight off the rip, okay, they're just a tad bit confused. They don't know what they got for real. Cause it just says one SS. Obviously I'm already knowing it's a one LE because you know a one LE when you see one, you know what I'm saying? So like I said, it was a Thursday night. So that Friday I hit up the salesman and I'm like, yo, I'm interested in the vehicle. Is the vehicle still there? Bro is like, yes. Now don't get me wrong. I ain't gonna lie, the salesman was cool as hell, bro. He was a cool ass dude, bro. But he just worked at uh, a disrespectful ass dealership, bro. That, you know what I'm saying? Tried to get over on me. So basically, bro, um, bro was cool as hell throughout the deal. We made the deal happen with you. But when I found the car, I hit up, bro, on that Friday, let him know that I was interested and that I was gonna come look at the car. Bro said, bet. So I asked my boss, like, yo, can I get off early to go check out this car? It's a cool minute away. Like, you know what I'm saying? I want to go look at it. I'm really thinking about buying it. And I want to go look at it before somebody else buys it. Boss was like, you good? Go ahead. So boom, me and my girl, we hop in the whip and we go ahead down. The, it was like past Crosby, Texas, bro. I ain't going to lie. This joint was far. We head down there. Now, look, this is not my first car, okay? When I buy used cars, you don't, like, when you buy a used car, you don't get a, you know what I'm saying, a window sticker, like, with the price on it. You don't get that. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, the ad that you seen the car on, that's your window sticker. So, I went to go and screenshot the website's ad so I could have a window sticker for the car. And I seen, I'm talking about as we're sitting at the light, okay? You look to the left. Literally on the corner is the dealership, bro. I'm sitting at the light with my girl. My girl's in Alex's place. I'm sitting at the light looking at the dealership. Brody, the car went from 40 grand to 50 grand, bro. Within the span of like two, three hours of me telling the dude, hey, yo, I'm interested in the car. I'm finna come pick it up possibly. I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah. Like, y'all ain't going for that. You feel me? So I go ahead, say, screw it, bro. Go through it, looking at the car, check the car out, test drive the car, everything. Everything cool, man. Bro, we get back from the test drive. Bro, it's like, yo, um, you know what I'm saying? Did you... Did you like want to go ahead and file like the papers in and shit like that? I'm like, well, I did see a discrepancy, bro. Like when I hit you up about the car, y'all had it listed for 40. Once I got to come see the car, y'all got it listed for 50. That's 10 grand over what the car was listed for in the first place, bruh. 10 grand like it's not even like y'all went from 40 to 42 or from 40 to 44 like you feel me y'all went from 40 to 50 like that's crazy so i told bro i'm like man that's not the price that i seen the car for and not the price that made me even want to come out here and get it you know what i'm saying bro i was like man i'm sorry like the prices change every day um it's a competitive market whoop de whoop told me this whole bs story bro you feel me? I'm like, brody, like, I can't lie. If y'all are not trying to, you know what I'm saying, stand on your word and sell me the car for what you had it listed for, I'm not buying it. And so bro was like, yeah, man, let me go talk to my people. I'm going to come right back and I'm going to let you know. I was like, nah, man, like, I can't do it. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's going to be the price. 
he was like man do you want to just try to see like if you can get it i'm like it's not being able to get the car that's the problem it's the the problem is y'all told me it was this price i came here for this price and then y'all changed it to that price so with that being said bro like if y'all not gonna do this price like i said earlier i'm finna just go ahead and go by my way and he said we can't change it so that's exactly what i did i went ahead went by my way i left literally bro i left me and my girl went home i was pissed off mad as hell bro my girl is like baby if it's meant to be it's gonna be i'm like hell yeah but i'm just like damn why is the universe playing with me right now like this would have been the sixth car that i could have got and i lost so like i was just heated my girl was like man if it's meant to be it's gonna be i'm like all right you know what i'm saying you're right like it is what it is i ain't tripping like at the end of the day i knew i made the right decision by standing my ground and walking out at the end of the day you gotta realize the dealership needs the customer to sell the car you know what i'm saying so you always gotta remember when you walk into a dealership walking into negotiations remember the dealership needs you bro remember that so like i said went home bro next day comes it's a saturday bro i go to work you feel me my boss them like damn bro i thought you was gonna go buy the car what happened i told them they said the same thing like yeah bro you were smart for not taking it woo -dee -woo -woo. cool all right so now boom the end of my shift hits bro my girl come you feel me pick me up we go home we chilling at the crib brody I'm talking about literally like five minutes of me being at the house. I get a phone call from Blake. That's the that's the salesman's name. So Blake calls me, bro. I answer the phone. Blake's like, yo, what's up, man? How you doing? Woody whoop. You know that small talk shit. I'm like, what's good, bro? I'm doing good. How you doing? Gave him some small talk back. You know what I'm saying? And bro was like, man, I'm doing good. Um, you know, so anyway, are you ready to come pick up your car? I told bro, are you ready to sell me the car at the price that I seen it at? Bro was like, yeah, man, that's why I'm calling you, man. If you're still interested, we'll go ahead and honor the price that you seen it at at first. And the thing was, I'm sorry, side note, side note, side note. When I first seen the listing, I had sent it to my girl and my brother Q, you feel me? So that's just a side note like i've already had a picture with the able to even stand on business even more but it just wasn't a picture of like the whole ad you feel me it was just the price point and the miles and shit you know what i'm saying so boom like i was able to use that too with the negotiation but anyway bro is like we're gonna honor the price and sell you the car at what you seen it for brody i was too happy when he said that but i was like man bro like I can't come get it today because of the simple fact that y'all going to close soon and I'm over an hour away from y'all. Are y'all open tomorrow, which is a Sunday. And I knew it was a bit of a stretch, but, you know, some smaller dealerships open on Sunday because so they want to get that money. So I asked them, bro, it's like, nah, we're not. Um, you know what I'm saying? We open on Monday. I told him I'll see you on Monday, man. So Monday came through, went ahead, pulled up to the dealership, bro picked up the keys man and we drove off the lot now that's not the end of the story <laughs> you feel me if you guys want to you know validate or fact check or whatever you know what i'm saying definitely go back to two years ago when i first picked up the car you can see everything i picked up the car drove it over an hour home three quarts low on oil bro three quarts low on oil bro with like 135 exhaust leaks bro it was crazy so if you haven't tuned into any of the previous vader videos like the first taken delivery videos when the car first came to the channel man i ain't gonna lie it would definitely behoove you to go check those videos out you're definitely gonna enjoy them i mean it's great content it's just a cool piece of like history i guess you could say um that you can definitely go back and check out that's what i be doing i really be watching my own videos just to remember like that feeling that i had in that moment you know what i'm saying it's like you can relive that memory so 
I hope you guys enjoyed the story time of how I got the car. I told y'all it was crazy. The dealership tried me. They thought they was dealing with a little young, little, you feel me? A little young, hot shot, hot ride with some money that was gonna come out and, and just do whatever they wanted. At the end of the day, like I told y'all, man, you gotta stand your ground. The dealership needs you more than you need them. At the end of the day, the dealership needs the customer to sell the car. So if the customer walks out, the dealership still has that car on their lot and they need it sold. So what they gonna do is exactly what Blake did. Call you back and say, hey man, let's work out a deal. You know what I'm saying? And as you guys can see, two years later, we got Vader. We got a warranty that covers the powertrain, that covers aftermarket parts. So when this car's heads cam, all that knock on carbon, if it ever decides to blow, and I don't want to throw a 427 stroker in this joint, I just want to put an LT1 motor in it and sell it. I can do that and it'd be covered under warranty and I wouldn't even have to pay nothing but a $500 deductible. I mean, you can't beat it, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I'm definitely happy that I stood my ground because I got a deal for a Camaro 1LE that nobody can say they did. And at the end of the day, I bought this car, it had 10,000 miles on it. It was a 2021, I bought this car two years ago. So y'all could do the math on how new the car was. It's a 1LE, y'all know how rare the car is. So to get it for 40 grand, that's crazy, bro. That is insane, no cap. They thought the car was a base model 1SS. They did not know it was a 1LE. Blake literally told me as we were walking around the car, I seen a little like peel up of the wrap on the satin hood in the corner on the driver's side while I was checking the body lines to make sure the car wasn't in an accident. And Blake was like, oh yeah, um, I think the previous owner put that on the hood and we were trying to take it off, but it, it wasn't coming off too good. So we decided to just leave it on there. I was like, oh yup, that's when I knew I had them. That's when I knew I had them. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it was a Dodge dealership that sold Ram trucks, bro. They had a Hellcat on their lot. They had the Camaro on their lot. And then they had nothing but trucks, literally. And the Hellcat they had supposedly made over a thousand to the wheel, which was crazy. I wanted to do a review on that car, but apparently some dudes that came from out of town and was trying to scam them into selling them the Hellcat under a whole different identity. So they wasn't even playing no games with that one. So yeah. It, yeah, bro. It was definitely a crazy experience. I'm super stoked that I was able to document and film the experience for you guys. So like I said, if you want to validate any part of this story, man, just go check out the newer videos when I first got this car, man. Um, but without further ado, that's actually going to wrap it up for today's video, man. If you're new to the channel, please do your boy a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications. That way you're notified anytime I drop a video and you don't miss an upload. And also, just give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content man if you enjoyed the story time a little piece of history a ji invader type deal you feel me and let me know in the comment section down below what kind of videos you guys want to see in the future as you can tell i read the comments i listen to y'all what you guys want to see i'll do my best to film so let me know in the comment section down below but without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and run that outro got anything you want to say gang make sure y'all tap in like, subscribe, both of our channels, check out Instagram and yes, sir. TikTok for good quality content. Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, man. Everything pops up on the screen and it's linked at the end of this video, man. Like I said, I appreciate you guys so much. I'm gonna go ahead and roll that outro and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.